Right, now let's turn our attention to our earlier story about the mayhem and the rampage at Nkuranza because my colleague Ohim Interior uh, is on standby to bring us up to speed with some updates on that particular development. Hello, uh, Ohim, if you can hear us. Hello. Right, Ohim, if you can hear us, uh, what is the situation as of this uh, morning? Yes, it's a normal day, as it's a normal day anywhere in any part of the country. Just that the, the difference here in Nkranza uh, Township is the fact that there's increased uh, police uh, presence on the main uh, streets of Nkranza. A police and military team are now patrolling and they've also stationed themselves at vantage points, providing security and ensure that uh, people who are going about their normal duty and their lawful duties can do same without any hindrance. The situation is a bit uh, different from what we witnessed yesterday as the youth uh, clash with the police uh, here. Uh, this is the main Nkranza Edra Road. Behind me is where the police have pitched camp and it's very uh, close uh, to the municipal police headquarters that was attacked yesterday by the youth. And now what police uh, has done here is to block one of the uh, road here, the lanes here. So what it means is that motorists who are applying this particular route will have to change their route. There's also uh, another police team at the entrance of the community so when you get there, the, the team will search you and then give you a free passage when they are convinced that there's nothing incriminating on you. But within the township here, it's a normal day for residents uh, who are uh, just awakening uh, after yesterday's uh, incidents uh, to see uh, that indeed the number of police and the military uh, officers here uh, you know, has increased. And I haven't seen any of the groupings as we witnessed yesterday. Now you see people uh, in, you know, walking in and out and going about their uh, normal duties here in Nkranza. Saying is that there is enhanced um, uh, security presence, but regarding the, the young people who are livid and agitated, uh, can you tell us, have you gathered any intelligence of any likely plotting today or their concerns have been put to rest? It is too early, and uh, I must say you can't also predict uh, the agitated youth. Just yes, yesterday, just after a meeting with the paramount chief of Nkranza, and the chief promised the you know, support of the traditional authorities to ensure uh, speedy investigations uh, into uh, the uh, death and killing of uh, Albert Kwesi Donko. The youth uh, promised to abide uh, by the rule of law and ensure that they don't go uh, contrary uh, to the words of Nananum. But few minutes after that meeting, then they started uh, burning uh, car ties on the street and then mounted roadblocks just in front of the municipal police headquarters. And aftermath of that is what has led to the presence of the heavy police and military presence here. The youth managed to ransack the police station to the extent that they freed some of the inmates in police custody forcing uh, police officers to run and then f uh, for their lives and free the scene. Uh, so uh, you can't predict the youth that uh, probably be with the presence of the police and the military team here, that should put the issue to rest. Uh, let me also confirm that even when the police uh, reinforcement team arrived from Techiman, the youth were, were not even badge. They, you know, faced uh, the police team squarely by throwing stones uh, whilst the police team also fire uh, warning shots and then live uh, 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 rubber bullets uh, uh, on them. They, they were not perturbed. They continued to stood their grounds and to face uh, uh, the police officers. Uh, so for you to suggest that uh, probably because of the presence of the police military team, that should put the story to rest, it will be too early uh, to be considering and to be talking about that. Right, thank you very much, uh, Ohimi Teya, for those updates. In the course of the newspaper review, we'll cross over to you uh, for further uh, details regarding this particular development. Thank you.